Welcome to this week's edition of Fingerprinting Gurus. I am Tommy Watkins, your instructor, here for our exciting new topic. Before diving into this week's subject matter, I kind of request that you support our content by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Our content aims to assist you in advancing your entrepreneurial ventures, particularly in the ink card fingerprinting business and the mobile ink card fingerprinting industry. Without further ado, let us explore this week's topic, training and expertise. Training and expertise are uh, essential factors when it comes to obtaining clear and usable fingerprints consistently. Properly trained uh, technicians play a crucial role in ensuring the accuracy and reliability of fingerprint uh, process. Here are some key aspects related to training and expertise in fingerprinting. Number one, fingerprinting techniques. A technician must be trained in various uh, fingerprinting techniques such as the rolled ink method, slap print method, and of course the palm print method. Each technique is used in different scenarios and requires specific skills to capture clear and accurate prints. Number two, identify and handling different Rich patterns. Fingerprint technicians should be well versed in identifying different ridge patterns, including loops, arches, and whirls. Understanding ridge patterns can help in proper classification and comparison of fingerprints for identification purposes. Number three, error corrections and retakes. Training should cover how to recognize and correct errors during the fingerprinting process. In cases where prints are, are smudged or incomplete, technicians should know when to retake the prints to ensure the best possible quality. Number four, quality control and assurance. Technicians must be educated on quality control measures to ensure consistent in their work or consistency in their work. Regular quality assurance check can help identify and address any issues in the fingerprinting process. Number five, dealing with challenging uh, fingerprints. Training should include techniques for dealing with challenging fingerprint scenarios such as worn out prints, scarred, or distorted ridges. Technicians should know how to adjust their approach to capture unusable prints from such individuals. Number six will be legal and ethical considerations. Uh, technicians should be familiar with the legal and ethical aspects of fingerprinting, including data privacy, chain of custody procedures, and handling sensitive information. Number seven, forensic fingerprint analysis. In some cases, fingerprint technicians may be involved in the forensic analysis, proper training, in interpretation, and comparison of fingerprints is essential for accurately matching prints to known records. Number eight, continuing education. Fingerprinting technology and techniques may evolve over time. Technicians should undergo regular continuing education to stay up to date with the latest advancement and best practices in fingerprinting. Number nine, communication skills. Technicians need good communication skills to interact with individual being uh, fingerprinted. Clear explanations of the process and setting expectations can lead to a better cooperation and results. Number 10, experiences um, and practices. Along with formal training, practical experience is invaluable in developing expertise and fingerprinting. Regular practice help technicians refine their skills and build confidence in handling different types of fingerprinting scenarios. Training expertise ensure that Fingerprinted technicians are competent, knowledgeable, and capable of producing high-quality prints consistently. This level of professionalism is essential in various fields, including law enforcement, background checks, forensic science, immigration, and other areas where fingerprints is a crucial component of identification and verification process. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this content.